and welcome to Hello Artist, an interview series where we get to know one visual artist, but keep it brief enough to leave you wanting more. Kind of like when you mask up to go to the grocery store, but only cover your mouth. I'm your host, Marissa Tani Thaler, and today we're talking to an illustrator who's been quite the warrior mask maker during quarantine. Please say hello to Sarah Evans. Hello, artist. Hi there. Thank you for joining me today. So Thank good to um, be here. Thank you. So here's how our interview is going to go. I will ask you four questions and then we'll do a speed round. So first of all, can you tell me who you are as a creator and what kind of work you do? I guess the best answer would be eclectic. <laughs> um, I have a hard time sticking with just one medium, but illustration is sort of my primary media. Um, but I also absolutely adore textiles and fabrics. I've been lately um, getting into designing my own fabrics and then using those fabrics to make things like zipper bags and pillows and other stuff. So my next question was, what are you currently working on? Well, one of the things I'm working on is the uh, 100 day project. Today is actually day 50. I'm so excited yes. <laughs> to be halfway done. <laughs> um, so, and the theme for that is um, mini Michigan marvels. So I'm drawing little creatures as well as um, various kinds of plants that you find here in Michigan and especially a lot of endangered species and plants um, sort of raise awareness of um, the beauty here in Michigan. That's beautiful. It kind of goes right into the next question. What inspires your work? I'm really inspired by nature. Uh, I love to walk, hike, camp paddle. So um, anytime I'm outdoors, the, even the smallest things can inspire me. Um, color, texture of um, different things around me. I was going to say like the, the mark making is I think what to me makes your work stand out a lot. You've got like really beautiful line quality and can really use things like stipple. In I love stippling. I'm, yeah. I'm a, yeah, <laughs> I'm a nut for stippling. <laughs> I feel like you're a part of a rare breed. <laughs> It's very meditative, you know, you just have to take it like slow and enjoy it, you know. It might take a couple days for me to actually stipple in something. <laughs> <laughs> Better you than me. <laughs> so tell me what your biggest or favorite moment of your art career has been so far. The biggest, most ambitious project that's been memorable was applying to um, Art Path last year and being accepted. Um, and my friend Courtney McLean and I made a fiber art piece um, and that included um, needle felting and knitting um, as well as weaving. It was a piece called Water is Life, which again, raising um, awareness of uh, pollutants in Michigan waterways and our lakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a fabulous piece. I remember like walking under it and just it being so public was really exciting. It was. It was fun to actually watch people react to it, you know, like just not even pretending like I, I made it or anything, but just hanging out there and listening to people um, is really neat. And I, I love public art like that. So another thing I do is um, my husband and I always participate in Chalk of the Town. So mm -hmm. we're a little sad that that's not happening this year. But, you know, doing art live in front of people is just so much fun. So we have come to the speed round portion of our interview. And so are you ready? I guess so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Question number one, what's your favorite color? Anything in the blue or green realm. Turquoise. Question number two, who's your favorite artist? Without a doubt, uh, Georgia O'Keeffe. Oh, I can see that. Yeah. I used to have her prints of her artwork all over my house. Question number three, what is your favorite part of your creative routine? I think it's getting up early in the morning. I try to do that just about every day, mm -hmm. but finding that little time of peace and quiet to meditate and draw. And the last question is one just for me. Tell me what's your favorite weird or unexplained thing that um, I think I actually saw a UFO once. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving home from Mount Pleasant. I actually work in Mount Pleasant, live in Lansing. Like it didn't have lights like people normally think of, but there was this dark mass like hovering over the highway and it was triangular shape. And I was trying to figure out what the heck it was. And I still, I, to this day, I have no idea. As we wrap up, is there anything that you wanted to plug or, you know, tell us where we can find you on social media? Uh, so my business name is actually Downy Tree Arts, 
And uh, you can find me at downytreeart.com as well as on Facebook and Instagram um, under Downy Tree Art. In addition to the 100 day project, I've also been working on a bunch of original large um, illustrations of animals. Um, and it's called Into the Forest. I was going to have a show that got canceled. It was in May. Um, so I'm trying to think about how I might do a virtual show in the upcoming months, sometime in June. So stay tuned. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. And thank you for joining us today for another episode of Hello Artist. You can find Sarah's information in the description below. And make sure to join us next time where we say hello to one more artist.